We often get lots of questions about fine motor skills, specifically pencil grip. As you can see from this diagram, it's a huge developmental journey. Each child is on their own individual journey and are therefore at different stages of development. In the classroom, we consistently have lots of different fine motor or finger gym activities. We might have some threading, we might have moving objects with tweezers. They love it if it's timed. So what we're trying to do is really nurture this muscle here. You can feel it really engaged when you touch the thumb and baby finger, but feel how much it dramatically reduces when you touch the thumb and index finger. Activities such as using tweezers, threading, or playing with Play-Doh are brilliant for helping strengthen those muscles. There are lots of brilliant ways you can nurture fine motor skills at home. You can do activities such as these, but also the Imagination Tree is a brilliant website that recommends 40 different fine motor activities you can do at home, lots of which use resources you'll already have. We encourage children to hold writing tools using a tripod grip. The forefinger and thumb nip the pencil and the middle finger supports underneath. Depending where your child is on their developmental journey, they might be able to do this, but the pen is upright. We explain that the pen will get tired, so it needs to rest. And this part of the hand is where it can gently rest back. A child might be here, will be lifting the whole arm up when they're mark making. Again, we encourage them to rest the arm on the paper. This hand also has a job, it's active. Its hand is to be on the table and to keep the writing material still. 